Okay, today we're talking about Chelsea. We're talking about Arsenal. We're talking about Michaelo Mudrick. And you know what? That song, Give Us a Win. I love that song. Big up that guy who made that song for Chelsea. But guys, if you don't know, there is some crazy stuff going around and we need to talk about it. This couldn't wait for a live stream. This had to be an upload. And I'm going to be telling you guys the latest news on everything around Arsenal and potentially the signing of Michaelo Modric. Yes, this is ridiculous news, ladies and gentlemen. So we got to get into it. We got to talk about it right, right now. So before we go any further, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know, would you take Michaelo Modric at Arsenal still? If Chelsea were to sell him for a reasonable price, let me know in the comment section what you guys think before we go any further. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to show you guys all the articles and everything that's going around before we go any further. Make sure you do that. And of course, don't forget to check out the title sponsor in the link is in the description to SofaScore. I'm going to play this quick video right now. People. So if you guys don't know, there is uh, some crazy news going around uh, circles that Chelsea are going to be forced to sell a bunch of players and a bunch of Premier League rivals are sniffing around Chelsea to see what players they could probably prize away. The likes of Enzo Fernandez, Michaelo Modric, Caicedo uh, have all been spoken about as potential players in addition to the likes of Conor Gallagher and Chalaba, who are most likely 100% going to be leaving. So my first question to you guys is, would you take any players at Chelsea Football Club at this moment in time as they are looking to sell some players? And let me just show you guys the article that is that is floating about first. So this came from Matt Law, which is one of the main Chelsea sources for The Athletic. He, he reported that uh, Chelsea's rivals believe that uh, must make major sales be, uh, by January 30th, by June 30th, I mean, to avoid spending breaches. So yeah, June 30th. Me, let me make that clear. Not January. My apologies. It's June 30th. So yeah, so Chelsea Football Club find themselves in a very prote uh, uh, interesting position. And this made a lot of people speculate that Arsenal might actually be looking to potentially sign Michaelo Mudrik. Now, a report has come out of The Athletic now let me play let me show you guys what the report said in the athletic this is what the report in the athletic stated edu and Mikel arteta were utterly convinced that Michaelo Mod the, uh, of the Michaelo Modric's talent when the deal did not materialize arsenal understood was that they were that the player was devastated Michaelo Modric is still an admirer of arsenal who believes his talent can still be unlocked. So as you can see right there, Mikel Arteta and Edu in the past have signed Jorginho from Chelsea. They've signed Kai Havertz from Chelsea. We do have a rapport with Chelsea where we've signed players from them recently. And could it be a situation where now we could also have Mikel Modric be the next player that we go in to go sign from Chelsea Football Club? Now, I'm quite shocked. Let me show you guys what I'm looking at, by the way, because you clearly haven't seen what I'm looking at. Can you see it now? Let me see. There you go. You can now see what I'm looking at. So yeah, Edu and Arteta were utterly convinced that Michaelo Modric's talent, well, and when the deal didn't materialize, they understood that the player was completely devastated and Michaelo, uh, and, and Modric is still an admirer of Arsenal uh, and who believes his, uh, sorry, Arsenal are still admirers, of course. Modric has admired Arsenal and obviously the club still believes that he's a talented player. This this also came in an article where they said they spoke whether it happens or not. The the question is, will Arsenal go in and join and join the race to sign Michaelo Modric? And of course, Caicedo is another person who's under pressure at this moment in time. There you go. So this is one of the this is one of the reports. Now, off the back of this report came out some juicy news. Off the back of this report, some juicy, juicy news came out, ladies and gentlemen. And when I say juicy, I mean Team News Ticks, one of the most reliable sources for team news across uh, across Twitter and Instagram and all the, thing, all the platforms. He doesn't really put out too much information 
that that doesn't need uh, unless unless somebody else writes the story first. But he did say Arsenal understood that the player was devastated when somebody called you uh, when someone calls you in tears as they were on the way to the airport and tries to say they can't do something. I want to play for you. Can you do something? I want to play for you. I'd probably understand they were devastated too. So at this way, that is crazy. So you're telling me Michaela Mudrick on his way to the airport was in tears and said that I can't do, can you do something for me? I want to play for you. Interesting, interesting developments, ladies and gentlemen, interesting developments. And I do have more receipts, by the way. I do have more receipts. So let me just... Let me just show you guys some of these receipts, uh, some of these, some of these takes, and some of these things that are, that have been floating around. And before we go any further, make sure you do hit that like button. So yeah, Michaela Modric was in tears on the phone asking Arsenal uh, to do something on his way to the airport as the Arsenal transfer collapsed. Um, Michaela Modric called Arsenal crying in January as he was on his way to Chelsea and could be uh, could be done if he wants to join Arsenal. Team News Ticks reveals that he was in tears on his way to the airport. And Michaela Modric, in response to a few comments before saying he wouldn't join Chelsea, looked like he was forced and actually feels sorry for him. So uh, why would you why would you go to Chelsea? Man literally responded, no heart emoji. Would you go to Chelsea? This was his response, yeah, on socials. I remember that. And Mikel Arteta's response after after he signed, if you guys remember, was at the end of the day, the player decides where he wants to play on that summer. So it does seem like it does seem like he was forced to join Chelsea due to numerous situations. One, the Chelsea made a large donation to Ukraine. They also paid Shakhtar more money. In addition to that, they also hosted a charity event for everything that's going on in Ukraine with the war against Russia. So all of these things might have culminated in this. But now you have people pushing back. You have people pushing back like Lewis and and they're saying and they're saying that this crazy news is BS. For example, my boy Lewis is literally saying hope you get all the clicks you, uh, all your clicks. Excuse me, clicks? Uh, what are we talking about? This is the same man who announced Henri was uh, was was coming back on loan before anybody else, and you even look at Michaela Mudrick's face when he signed for Chelsea. He did not look like somebody who was happy he just signed for a football club. But hey, enough about that. Let's get back to the serious business. Would you take Michaela Mudrick at Arsenal right now? That is my question. To me. We look at Mikhail Modric's time in the Premier League and we cannot judge him fairly. He's played a little over 30, 35 games, 34 games for Chelsea in, in the first team. If you include the if you include the EFL Cup, definitely more than that. He has a total of four assists, four goals in all those games. I don't think he's been able to show his full potential at Chelsea yet. He's still 23. He's still a very skillful player. I'm not saying he's completely washed. But what I'm saying is I don't know if we should be taking the risk. I don't know if we should be going out of our way to go and sign this player unless it's a reasonable price. If they're saying we'll give, we'll give you him for 70 million, I don't want to spend another 60, 70 million on another Chelsea reject. If they're willing to throw him at us for 50 million, maybe, then it would be a little bit more reasonable. I think the price would change my mind. But let me know. I personally, I have to maybe look at it from the perspective that Mikel Arteta and Edu scouted this guy and they know something that we don't. And if there's a situation where we can get him for a reasonable price, be it 60, 50 million, then fine. If we're going to be paying anywhere near the price that Chelsea paid for him just a couple months ago, then no, it's not happening. I don't see this deal happening, but there is a slight possibility. There is a slight possibility. Arteta does like uh, going to Chelsea and shopping at Chelsea. Edu does like shopping at Chelsea. Arsenal does have a connection and work working relationship with Chelsea where we sign their players. And Mikhail Modric did want to join Arsenal just a couple months, uh, just uh, 12 months ago. If, if you tell me we are looking for a winger, could it work? 
he's a left winger though. He's another left winger. Would he play on the right? Would he just be rotation? I don't think so. I, I personally, for me, I don't want Michaela Modric. But if we did sign him, I understand because we did all the background work and everything else already. But to me, it, it leaves me scratching my head. It really leaves me scratching my head. It really leaves me scratching my head for two reasons. One, what were Chelsea thinking when they signed him in the first place? Did they have a plan? And two, you can never expect a player to come into Arsenal and play the same position that they played at other clubs because of how we've seen him use Ben White and other players. So maybe Mikel Arteta has a plan that we don't. For now, I'll leave you guys with this. Let me know what you guys would do. Because for me, if it's affordable, do it. If it's not, and uh, don't do it. And really and truly, Chelsea, if they were to give up on a project already with Mikhailo Mudrik, really has you questioning their whole sporting project. But yeah, that's it for now. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And also, don't forget to download uh, SofaScore. It's the best football app out there on the planet. We're out of here, people. Love for the love. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Where is it? There it is.